Hi! Today I'm going to do a video that I saw Zoe London do quite a while ago. I believe she started it. It was like a music memories tag. Um, and it's just some questions about music. So I'm going to answer them. Uh, so the first question is your worst gig experience. Uh, for me that would be Best Coast and Passion Pit at Pier 26 um, in New York. That was um, the first concert I went to in my second year at FIT, it was like one of my first, it was like the first day of school or the first day of my internship or something, there was just a lot going on. And I think I went to Drowners that night at Knitting Factory. I think. I don't know. I know there were a lot of concerts in a small amount of time. Um, and that show was the first show where I got really close in a really big crowd and there was more pushing and jumping than I had anticipated once Passion Pit started. Um, and I was just not about it, and probably by the third song I fought my way out um, to the back, and I watched from the back a little bit, and then I left. Best Coast was good though, like nobody cared about seeing Best Coast back then. In like 2013, it was like nobody was paying attention, was, they were all there for Passion Pit. I don't even listen to Passion Pit really anymore. <laughs> okay, the next question is a music video that blew your mind. Uh, probably any of Skater's earlier videos, so I Wanna Dance. Miss Teen Massachusetts and Armed. They were all directed by the same director, uh, whose name I can't remember, but I'll put it right here. Definitely check out his work. He has a really cool style, but all of those videos, I was just like, wow, these are like so cool. This is such a different way to do a music video than I've ever seen before. I'd never like, I don't know, I guess more of the music videos I had watched before, like the song made sense with the story. Like it's what you pretty much expected the music video to look like, but these were just completely different from what I thought when I listened to the songs gig that made you lose your shit probably fiddler at shaky knees i've talked about that before M my first moshing experience whatever changed my life blah. the next question is the band you wish you could join i would say war paint just because i don't have any musical talent and i feel like not that they don't have musical talent but they make such incredible music but it's really just like a lot of random sounds sometimes um it's just really cool so I like Warpaint a lot, um, and they're really great live too. Uh, a song that reminds you of your partner or friend? Probably Reptilia by The Strokes reminds me of my best friend Olivia because um, that Room on Fire is just a really significant album for both of us I think, and together we listen to it a lot, and The Strokes are really important to us and everything, so um, that song just reminds me of her a lot because um, like the room is on fire and she's fixing her hair like that's that's Olivia. <laughs> Best gig ever? Uh, I would say the strokes at Shaky Knees because we just anticipated that so much and they're my favorite band and I finally got to see them and um, I'd seen them before at Gov Ball but they didn't mean as much to me and I didn't stay for their whole set that time because they put Childish Gambino at the same time which was dumb but at Shaky Knees it was perfect. Or Angel Hayes um, on my birthday last year. That was pretty good. The last song you listened to? Um, let me look. Loco by Vince Staples. It's on his Prima Donna mixtape, which is really great. It's pretty short, but um, I really like it. I never really was into Vince Staples before, but I really like that. Number eight is a song that sums you up. That's like such a hard question. I mean, I want to just say like, oh, that's my favorite song, whatever happened by the Strokes, like, uh, whatever. But I mean, last year I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm totally toe low in, um, what was their popular song? I don't know. Like, depending on the mood I'm in, it will change. So I, I feel like I can't really answer that. Even right now, I don't know what I would say. I don't know. What, what song would sum you up? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, what musical era do you wish you were around in? I would say the 90s to 2000s, and I was around, like I was born, but I wasn't actively listening to the music of that time or paying attention to the scene at all. And I mean, most I know most people are like, oh, the 60s for the Beatles or like 70s for punk or whatever. I, I would just go back to the 90s, like as the age I am now. Um, surprising music fact about you? I don't know. I mean, everybody these days is like, oh, I have such eccentric tastes, I listen to everything, but I think probably, um, just my overall musical history of, like, 
when I was in high school, well, when I was younger, I was like, ugh, I hate country music because it's all my dad listens to and I'm sick of it and I don't want to be, like, associated with, like, the rural area where I'm from. And then I also said I hated rap music, which is no longer true at all. I was that asshole who's like, I don't like, I like everything except for country and rap. Um, and then in high school was when I discovered, like, top 40 stuff and all I listened to was the pop station on the radio. Um, going to school and stuff and then now coming to the place where I am now surprising fact my first concert was a Britney Spears concert uh, in 2011 which was right after I graduated high school which maybe is kind of late for some people to be going to their first concert I guess that's kind of interesting I've seen Drowners like 15 times I don't know if that's interesting or just obsessive yeah <laughs> Um, but I thought this was a really cool tag. Anyways, those are my answers to the questions. I'll put them down below if you want to do the tag. Um, thanks to Zoe for starting this and inspiring me to do this video, finally. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.